While some architects and theorists believe that structures must lose their original meaning in order to be truly be considered monuments, Cert, Ligur, and Guidian propose the opposite to be true, that the empty shells generated by architects in the 20th century are a devaluation of monumentality. They in no way represent the spirit or the collective feeling of modern times. In Nine Points of Monumentality, they consider monuments to be human landmarks which men have created as a symbols for their ideals, intended to outlive their creators and serve as a link between past and present. Importantly, they link the architecture of structures and cities through the monument in which monuments would serve as the most powerful accents in these vast schemes of city planning, allowing for new creative possibilities in the relationship between architecture and city planning. In this video, we will be going to present the nine points of monumentality, as stated by these architects in an article they have published in 1943, one year before Louis Kahn's article New Architecture and City Planning, a symposium which we have actually covered in a previous video as well so make sure you check that out before we begin this video make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and now let us investigate the first point of monumentality is that monuments are human landmarks created as symbols for their ideals for their aims and for their actions they are intended to outlive the period which originated them and constitute a heritage for future generations. As such, they form a link between the past and the future. The second point of monumentality is that monuments are the expression of man's highest cultural needs. They have to satisfy the eternal demand of the people for translation of their collective force into symbols. The most vital monuments are those which express the feeling and thinking of this collective force to the people. The third point of monumentality, every bygone period which shaped a real cultural life Life, had the power and the capacity to create these symbols. Monuments are therefore only possible in periods in which a unifying consciousness and unifying culture exists. Periods which exist for the moment have been unable to create lasting monuments. The fourth point of monumentality states that the last hundred years have witnessed the devaluation of monumentality. This does not mean that there is any lack of formal monuments or architectural examples pretending to serve this purpose, but the so-called monuments of recent date have, with rare exceptions, become empty shells. They in no way represent the spirit or the collective feeling of modern times. The fifth point of monumentality states that this decline and misuse of monumentality is the principal reason why modern architects have deliberately disregarded the monument and revolted against it. Modern architecture, like modern painting and sculpture, had to start the hard way. It began by tackling the simpler problems the more utilitarian buildings like law rent housing, schools, office building, hospitals and similar structures. Today, modern architects know that buildings cannot be conceived as isolated units, that they have to be incorporated into the vaster urban schemes. There are no frontiers between architecture and town planning, just as there are no frontiers between the city and the region. Correlation between them is necessary. Monuments should constitute the most powerful accents in these vast schemes. We have reached the end of the first part of this video. Thank you so much for making it this far. We will post the second part next week where we will discuss the remaining four points of monumentality. The theme we decided to go with this month is monuments. So expect monument themed videos every week. You can also follow us on Instagram for daily posts discussing monuments and their history. And make sure to subscribe to our channel to not miss out. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and we will see you in the next one.